Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Kabbalah, and uh, finally got ourselves some botany bales, the basically top tier uh, herbivore teaming food. And getting ready to head out for a little bit of a trip. Okay, that's right, you can't go that way. Oh, yeah, I tamed an Arca monster as well. And. Well. They actually make pretty good boss fighting creatures. So. Well, at least against the Mana Core. I mean, they shredded the Mana Core, so. Alright. We're gonna pick up Champy here. I need to actually get Champy a name. Also, I should probably. You can ride a Lake Champlain monster without a saddle. But, wow. Okay, yep. Whenever I get too close to those mountains over there, I get that lag spike. Um, but there should be a saddle for... Yeah, here we go. Venting paste, fiber, and hide. Yeah, it's not bad at all, actually. And... Okay. Uh, I'm pretty good. I got... Plenty of health on my horse now. Uh, a little bit extra weight and uh, some extra stam. Uh, I did go ahead and get my wyverns raised up, though. So here's our fire. And then we've got three poisons. One, two, and three. And, yeah. They're in... They're kind of scattered because they wanted walks at one point or another while imprinting, so. Uh, but you know what? I'm gonna get you guys some health, I think. Wow, you were really low on the health, actually. 320 doesn't have any experience or any levels yet, okay. But 13 and a half thousand health's not bad. And then the 380. 16,000 health from the start. 1100 weight's pretty good though. That's actually really nice. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to turn one of my uh, poison vibrants out into just a, a weedy boy. I don't know if gas bags are on this map or not, but I think the way to go would definitely be a wyvern. But uh, speaking of which, we're gonna hop on our tropical here and we're going to do a little underwater exploration today, but I'm going to fly out a ways to uh, where I know where some stuff roughly is. Because it's just going to be a lot quicker and overall a lot safer to get out there, you know, by land. And hopefully by the time I get there, it'll be uh, morning. There goes another cave. I just wish Ark was better at loading caves. It's pretty bad. But... Oh, well, what can you do? Alright, so go ahead and get Champ out here. And we'll go ahead and get your saddle on you. Wow, I have been neglecting you, haven't I? And... I really screwed up, didn't I? Oh well. There's an easy way to fix this as long as I can get to shore, I think. I got to bring a scuba tank. The underwater in this map is just awesome. There is just so much detail and whatnot. It's great. There we go. Also, here. Wow, you're loud. Also, look at the starfish. Like that. They've been really... They, they glow. It's really weird. Alright, problem solved. Oh, man, you're loud. Oh, hey, there's a Bazillasaur over there. There's two of them. That's a 180 over there. That's not bad. Uh, here, let's go ahead, though. 
Yeah, my oxygen's going down pretty quick. Scooby gear on, and I've got a Easter chibi on. I've got the uh, Dilophosaurus. All right. We got a Dunkle. Okay, we got jellyfish. I don't know if champs mean to jellyfish or not. I think so, but it's not one of those things you want to find out the hard way that you're wrong on. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to get to the ocean floor pretty much. Hey. Keep closer. Oh, yeah, no. If we're doing that kind of damage to jellyfish. Yeah, we're, uh, we're a jellyfish destroyer. Yeah, we should be immune to them as well. Also, we just got a ton of biotoxin. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, though. All right, we're not to the deepest part of the ocean yet. This map's deep. Oh, hell. Okay, cool. Well, here's the first area I wanted to check out anyway, so... This works out. Uh, but yeah, there's underwater ruins and stuff, too. Got some oil down here. Got all sorts of aberration -y stuff. Ant clam that's wide open. That does not look healthy. That is not the proper color for any sort of living tissue. Um, good. Need some more hell or uh, more melee. We can become even better at the destruction of jellyfish. Here it should be an opening to my left, I think. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a thing, too. The underwater caves, they load slowly for reasons. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, first person is definitely the way to do this. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's raining your off grids. All right, cool. And then we have this. This is as far as champ can go. All right, let's go ahead and put that back on. Wow, you were naked for a second there. I'm glitched. Okay, great. Champ. Why? Yeah, definitely, uh, oop. Well, there's blue gems. Okay. Waiting for everything to load in. There we go. Aberrant moss chops. Okay. There we go. More of a starting to load in, finally. Yeah, that ceiling, I don't think it's supposed to be, like, that bright like that. What we're seeing is the surface of the water and daylight. And... 
Nah, it's really supposed to be a thing. All right. Yeah, that's kind of cool area here. There we go. Yeah, this cave isn't as big as it looked like at first. Definitely a cool area, but it just... Some of the underground stuff just has a problem uh, rendering it properly. I don't know what we were going to need element ore for. I mean, obviously to make element, but I have no idea where. So, not going to worry too much about harvesting all of that. That's just kind of cool, too. Two gems getting in my way. Wow. The only thing down here... Oh, there we go. We got glow bugs coming in, too. Uh, so, between episodes, I installed a couple of more mods, finally. And uh, Marnie Horses and Marnie Wildlife. But what you do after you install a creature mod is you, you know, Dino Wipe. I have a feeling that's why this is populating a little bit slowly. Oh, hi. Why are you almost dead, though? Um, right. Oh, we have Cuddle Buddy. We're okay. We're safe. All right. Yeah, Dinochires won't attack you as long as you're friends with the Red Panda. But you have to offer proof of your friendship with Red Panda. Okay, we got Elephantosaur. Got a Stratosaur. Cool. Another Moth Chops. Look at you. You guys are only level 40 because you're just gorgeous. Despite being, you know, derpy looking as hell, but, you know. And that was the full trip, right? Basically, this is here for some aberrant creatures and uh, Elementor. There's Champ. Okay, cool. I didn't see him at first. I was a little worried. Um, more weight. Yeah, you definitely have to have scuba on. To uh, get down here. Underwater treasure. Megalosaur saddle and blueprint. Okay. But I heard a hum again like it just came back. I'm like, really? Oh. Oh, I just yeah, got ammonited, huh? Anyway, we have ammonites falling. Oh, I pissed off the dunkle now. weird how dunkles drop chitin and not keratin. Uh, chitin is pretty much exclusive to invertebrates. You know, insects, arthropods, so on and so forth. Keratin, pretty much the same for vertebrates. You know, like fish. Oh, there we go. We're unloading that cave a bit. And unfortunately, this is all the faster champ can move. So this is the sprint speed. That's non-sprint. They're not very fast creatures, unfortunately. If I get into some serious trouble, yeah, 
I may not be able to get away. Pretty sure I'd even be outsped by, a, you know, a dunkle, so. Alright, now from here, we're going to head north. I almost wish I'd found an Ogopogo instead of, you know, camp here. Ogos are so much faster. They're quite a bit bigger, too. And not nearly as maneuverable. Are you guys coming after me? Yep, you are. There's another Dunkel, but I'm no longer ammonited, so we should be fine. Alright. Oh. Hey, Optimal Sword. Yeah, that's always an option, too. There's a Great White down there. That is kind of scary, actually. Great Whites have a uh, bleed that I would rather not mess with. There's a Hammerhead. Those guys are pretty friendly. That's a Tylosaur. Uh, we'll file that under things I don't really want to mess with. Really fish coming out of the walls. Alright. Yeah, everything is still spawning in. It's usually a little more hectic down here. That's an Alpha Meg. Oh! You jerks! Okay, things just got interesting, didn't they? <laughs> I am stuck. <laughs> so I'm immune to, uh, I may be immune to jellyfish, I don't know. I just destroy them, but, uh... I'm not immune to eels. Because that's what happened, is I got slowed by these stupid jerks. Electrophorus. Oh, another Dunkle joins the fray. Great. I could probably get out, but no. I'm doing 91 damage to the Dunkles. Yeah, oh, wow, 30 levels, though. Definitely worth it. Uh, the stuff I got off them really wasn't, though. Alright, um... About 75-ish. 75,000. Oh, hey, it's an narwhal. Oh, hey, it's a giant cave. This is what I was looking for, actually, was this cave right here. All right. Well, of course, now I'm beat to hell, but... 
how much does my health get down to? 18.5? Okay, yeah. Oh, hi, it's a shark. I'm not messing with him. I don't even think I could have swim a Megalodon on, on champ here, so... Alright. Wait here for a second. There it goes. Oh, there. Wow, things are loading and unloading weirdly. Wait a second. What is my... There we go. For some reason, the map just does not like the, uh, the not being at an epic view distance. Okay. So there's two areas that I know of in here. Uh, one of which is a radiation zone. That's the one I don't want to go to. The other area is like a hidden underground grotto that's just idyllic, and that's where I'm actually heading to. The thing is, up here somewhere, this tunnel is going to fork. It'll actually basically keep going straight, and the path will shoot off to the left, but it's easy to miss the path to the left. Come on, guys. Ow, oh, you take your sweet time getting over here, don't you? Alright, and... Nope, not there. Yep, no, it's just a little alcove. And yeah, I think this is it here. I mean, it's kind of obvious there's something here, but depending on the angle, you can't really see this cave entrance, so it just looks like another wide spot. You can actually, yeah, you can harvest these for biotoxin and ambergris. As strange as that is, right? I mean, how many places have you seen that have mineable biotoxin? Hmm. One of those carrots and turtle shells you can find on the beaches sometimes. Definitely a good tunnel to bring a uh, dunkle down, though. I mean, there's oil everywhere, there's keratin, stone. You can get metal out of the, uh, the biotoxin rocks. Hopefully not shoot. Hopefully not too much further. This champ is kind of slow, <laughs> so I am kind of happy though that it's just you know Celicans and Ichthys down here now. There we go. We're getting close to the end. Let's go this way.
Definitely has a bit of an aberration -y feel too, doesn't it? The giant metal hallway and whatnot. Yeah, don't worry, this is the only time I'm going to be making this trip on camera. Yeah, with that last fork, if we took the right-hand fork, it would take us to the radi radiation zone. But it would take us to, basically, the border of the radiation zone. And, you know, on the safe side, of course. Alright. This is where I wanted to come to, though. So... Rename to, I'm just going to call it Grotto. And load. There we go. Hey, we have animals spawning in here now. Uh, this is where you, you can actually find all four light pets in this area right here. There's Shinehorn, we saw Bulb Dog and a Feather Light already. Yeah. More Bulb Dogs. Feather Light's on the ground. There's Go Tails around here somewhere, I can guarantee it. Also, there's Karkonos around here. So. Uh, there we go. My jump wasn't working. Yep, there's Karkinos right there, and there's one right there, and 290 Shimmer Equus. Hmm. a gotcha in the mushroom. That's awesome. Arrows do better than guns do. I'm trying to get this thing to come over to me. I kind of want to tame that horse, but it's 290 Shimmer. But sitting here, I'm shooting this Karkonos and it just doesn't care. I. There we go. There you go. Come on. I was right over your head, wasn't it? Okay, consider that a warning shot, not a miss. Turned around, dang it. Up. Oh, made it up. Oh, that was max level, too. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and come up here, though. Oh, 
There's a crate right there. No wonder. Grab hold, grab hold. Thank you. Tech treasure. All right, we got cryopods. We got element, black pearls, polymer, gunpowder. All right, not bad. And there's another carcass over there. 110. Okay. 270 Shimmer Equus. Wow, I made a jump. Damn, Anonicus can jump. And things can almost fly. Alright. I wonder. And there are Sarkos in here to be worried about as well, so. Alright. Did that shimmer survive? I hope so. If it did, it'd probably still be around here. 280 mail. Okay. That got your attention, didn't it? Alright, come on, guy. 9%. Off of like the top tier. Seriously? I broke the mushroom underneath and it sat down to eat. Or she did. <laughs> She's not going anywhere. Alright. Oh, you can tame these passively with element. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, that got your attention, didn't it? I guess we're taming a gotcha, too. Twenty-three percent. Okay, that's not bad. I did bring mutton with, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Nineteen percent. All right, cool. 